Chapter on if someone makes some food unlawful for himself. And the statement of Allah. O Prophet, why do you forbid for yourself that which Allah has allowed to you, seeking to please your wives? Quran, chapter 66, verse 1. And also his statement, O you who believe, make not unlawful the tayyibat, all that is good as regards foods, deeds, beliefs, persons, things, etc., which Allah has made lawful to you. Quran, chapter 5, verse 87. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the Prophet peace be upon him used to stay for a period in the house of Zanab bint Jesh, one of the wives of the Prophet peace be upon him, and he used to drink honey in her house. Hafsa and I decided that when the Prophet peace be upon him entered upon either of us, she would say, I smell in you the bad smell of maghafir, a bad smelling raisin. Have you eaten maghafir? When he entered upon one of us, she said that to him. He replied to her, No, but I have drunk honey in the house of Zana bint Jash, and I will never drink it again. Then the following verse was revealed. O Prophet, why do you forbid for yourself that which Allah has allowed to you? Quran, chapter 66, verse 1. Also his statement, If you two wives of the Prophet, peace be upon him, namely Aisha and Hafsa, turn in repentance to Allah. Quran, chapter 66, verse 4. The two were Aisha and Hafsa, and also the statement of Allah. And remember, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, disclosed a matter in confidence to one of his wives, Hafsa, Quran, chapter 66, verse 3, that is, his saying, but I have drunk honey. Hisham said, it also meant his saying, I will not drink any more, and I have taken an oath, so do not inform anybody of that.